gave me a death sentence. You know, th th they gave me something which I thought would cure haemophilia, and it did. But unfortunately, it also introduced HIV. And my initial reactions were, good God, they've killed me. But Bob and his wife Sue aren't amongst the 600 infected haemophiliacs suing the government and local health authorities for not screening Factor VIII. Because they both work, they earn too much to qualify for legal aid. If we want to sue for compensation, we have to fund that ourselves. Now, we're not talking 10 or 50 pounds, we're talking over two or 3,000 pounds here. And it could well be more if it goes into a protracted court case, which there's every indication it will. And we just can't afford that. The Haemophilia Society have been told the earliest date for a full High Court hearing for compensation is 1991. They want the government and the regional health authorities to settle now, out of court. The West Midlands Regional Health Authority refused to be interviewed today about the compensation claims. They said it wouldn't be right during complicated legal proceedings. But it's also believed that the regional health authorities are still arguing with the government over whether or not to support the haemophiliac's claim. Tonight in the House of Commons, the Staffordshire South MP, Patrick Cormack, will introduce an adjournment debate and call for an early settlement. What I'm saying is that uh, just as the victims of the Clapham Rail disaster and Piper Alpha and so on have been compensated, uh, and all by settlements out of court, so the government should not allow this thing to drag through the courts, but should say, yes, we are prepared to settle out of court, we're prepared to help these people. I would personally like to see it so I could actually sue for compensation. I'm not asking for a guarantee that we would win. I would just like the right, the privilege, if you like, to actually fight the case in the first place and, and prove that we're right, that you know it is their fault and therefore they should pay. More than 100 infected haemophiliacs have already died after contracting the virus. If the case is made to go through the High Court, people like Bob and Sue may have to give up on compensation. And before any money is paid out, some sufferers may be dead. Mike Smith reporting.